In this video, we're going to be talking about Joe Biden's statement that I'm an old guy and he might die in the White House. And uh, I mean, it's just ridiculous. The stuff that comes out of this man's mouth is just absurd. And the reason why he says things like that, because he knows that being a politician is a joke. He knows that being a politician today is nothing but the ability to go in, get bribes, get paid off. Like he's been getting paid off since he's been in politics. You see his son getting paid off, Nancy Pelosi's son getting paid off, uh, John Kerry's son getting paid off. And I'm sure there's many, many more senators and congressmen and governors and all kinds of people getting paid off by foreign companies. And... Um, and it's a joke to him. He doesn't. He doesn't care. That's why he can actually come out and say that I might die in the White House. So I'm an old guy. So then why why would anybody vote for him? I mean, why would you vote for him if if you're a Democrat or you hate Donald Trump? Why would you vote for a guy that says he's too old to be in the White House and he may die? Now my prediction is, and about 2020 race. I'm going to tell you in a minute what it is, but. I think the only reason why Joe Biden is actually in the race is so they can have an excuse to impeach the president in order to cover up all the corruption in, in, in U.S. politics. You know, just by them giving money to the Ukraine and then some Ukrainian companies hire them out and give these politicians kickbacks for the financial aid that they get from the United States. You know, my, my idea is like if there's a country that has billionaires, millionaires, huge industry like oil industry, they shouldn't be entitled to any money from the United States because you have rich people in your country. Use their money first before we go and give them billions and billions of dollars. I can understand, you know, like a poor country, you know, like Honduras, there's not that many rich people, they have no money, you know, they, they, they're being kept down by crooked politicians. Okay, then we may be able to help them out, like Jamaica, Haiti, uh, Guatemala, you know, small countries like that. Okay, you know, okay, you, you could technically give them a... But a country like Ukraine that's oil rich, that is loaded with billionaires, and other countries that have billionaires like Mexico, why this country gives anything to Mexico, any kind of aid is beyond me because at one time in history they had the richest man in the world and we all know who he is right and uh he's still one of the richest men in the world and he's not the only one in mexico who's very 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 wealthy within the billions and the millions of dollars who own a lot of land who probably own businesses in the united states because you can't go to mexico as an american citizen and just buy property only Mexicans are allowed to come to the United States and buy property. Americans can't go to Mexico and buy properties. Mexico has better laws protecting its sovereignty and its people and sort of its culture than the United States does. All, and I believe that that's another video that all stems through the stock market. But let's get on with what uh, Joe Biden says and let's listen to his ridiculous uh, rhetoric and this ridiculous speech. And then I'm going to tell you what my prediction is uh, for the 2020 election. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's listen to what Joe Biden had to say about him being an old guy. I can think of at least eight women, at least four or five people of color that I think are totally qualified to be Vice President of the United States, but for me it has to be demonstrated that whoever I pick is two things. One, is capable of needing to be a president, because I'm an old guy. Okay? <laughs> no, but I'm serious. Look, I'm a thank God, I'm in great health, I work out. No, I'm serious. I, you know, I work out every morning, I'm in good shape, my kind of mood as my mother would say. <laughs> So there you have it. Joe Biden said that he's an old guy. He's in good shape. He works out every day. So let's read the article and see uh, what the article has to say about Joe Biden and him possibly dying in the White House and being old. And then I'll give you my prediction and what I think they're trying to set up with Joe Biden. 
Okay, so I was a little trouble with OBS scrolling the browser, but I mean, you could read this article yourself. But my prediction, let's get to the prediction. Let's get what I think is going to happen. So let's say, for instance, uh, Bernie Sanders gets elected, right? Forget about the nominee. They have to be elected. Bernie Sanders gets elected. Joe Biden gets elected. These guys are ancient. They, they're, they're dinosaurs, right? They're waiting for the media strike to knock them down because, you know, anything can happen to them. They can say anything. You know, saying that you're going to die in office doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you're going to physically die. You could die mentally like, you know, you're incapacitated, you're too sick. So what will happen is these guys, they'll get elected. They're going to get their picture taken and they'll put it on the wall as being uh, the 46th president of the United States. So they're going to get that glory of being the 46th president of the United States. They're going to pick a vice president. I highly doubt that they're going to pick immediately Michelle Obama. If Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders, I don't think Bernie Sanders will pick Michelle Obama, but I believe that Joe Biden would pick Michelle Obama. What could possibly happen is that Joe Biden will retire as vice president within a year and a half and say he's too sick to go on. So then the vice president that he picks is going to be another setup. And that vice president is going to select Michelle Obama to be president of the United States. Or if he has already picked Michelle Obama, she's going to immediately become the president of the United States. But Michelle Obama will then have to pick an, a vice president of the United States. And I believe that he's going to, she's going to pick, or he's going to pick, because a lot of people say Michelle Obama is a man. <laughs> I mean, so he's going to pick, she's going to pick this person. So I believe that Michelle Obama will pick uh, Tlaib in, to become uh, president of the United States, another woman. So... Michelle Obama is no way going to pick Hillary Clinton to run as vice president because Hillary Clinton is too power hungry. You know, there's, there's going to be too much rivalry. Uh, secondly, when Hillary Clinton was running for president for the primaries against uh, uh, Barack Obama, Barack Obama abused her. And, uh, and then, but he paid her back, you know, he made a secretary of state. And she got she gained a lot of power, and I believe uh, that Michelle Obama, I mean Hillary Clinton, is done. Uh, no one's really gonna pick her. She's too old. She's too powerful, and uh, nobody really wants to see her anymore. But Michelle Obama, she can easily pick to leave to become the vice president of the United States. That's my prediction. So what's gonna happen is that. Michelle Obama is going to be put in, in the press because she can't win on her own. Like, she's not going to be able to run in the prim primaries and win because people are sick of the Obamas, period. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to see them. Uh, there's a few people out there that they pretend that they like the Obamas, but in reality, you know, people are sick and tired of the Obamas. Not only that, you know, there's going to be, they're going to, Donald Trump is going to say, well, how did you get all that wealth? You know, how did you go into the office being a poor man? Because they were poor when they became a uh, presidential uh, uh, husband and wife. You know, when when well, they were they were poor when when Barack Obama went into the when when Barack Obama was elected president, he was poor. So the first money he got was the uh, the Nobel Peace Prize, and now he's like a multimillionaire. He's got a a fifty four million dollar mansion here and there and all over the place this guy's got money coming in left and right because these are all the paybacks you know like when their daughters have parties birthday parties this is how they get paid they invite these people that they did favors for and they bring suitcases of cash and they give it to the kid <laughs> you know like even george bush when his daughters got married there was probably like suitcases of money gold i mean he, you can't you can't imagine the money that these people receive through their children and it goes to show you how their children are working for these companies in the ukraine and they're getting the money and they give the money back to their parents by gifts and other ways like that and that's how they get their kickbacks so when michelle obama becomes vice president 
and uh, Joe Biden steps down, she's going to become the 47th president of the United States, the first woman president, which is going to give a big slap in the face to Hillary Clinton because that's what she wanted. And she's going to be the, the first black woman president. Or they're probably going to call her African-American president not first black american they're gonna say first african american fuck america let's give the 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 the, the benefit the glory the acknowledgement to africa <laughs> you know what i mean to a, an entire continent forget about the united states and she's gonna pick to leave i'm telling you that's what's gonna happen because you could see how barack obama helped the islamic state he didn't help israel you know, that's why Dershowitz or Bershowitz is helping Donald Trump because, you know, Dershowitz, we know he's part of the ADL and uh, Donald Trump signed that anti-defamation thing for Dershowitz. And now Dershowitz is going to do whatever he can not to have him impeached because if once he becomes impeached, there's no way that the Republicans are going to win the nomination or the presidency. And then Joe Biden could easily pick Michelle Obama with no questions asked. He'll go two years into the presidency, retire, or Bernie Sanders, right? Retire. And then Michelle Obama is going to take to leave. And then the, there's going to be a new world order like you have never seen before. I mean, they're going to start changing laws like you cannot imagine. And what's going to happen too is you're going to start you're going to start hearing the cries again that California wants to succeed. They want to leave the union. They, they you know they don't want to be part of union no more. And other states are going to sort of like side with California, the real liberal ones, and then. California within so many years is going to succeed uh, from the union and in the beginning of the uh, uh, cutting up of the United States into five different countries is going to start because you know everyone's going to want a piece everybody wants a piece of the United States that's that's what it comes down to so that's my prediction uh, for the 2020 election is that um, if Trump gets impeached there's no way that the, the Republicans are going to have a strong enough candidate or anyone with balls to go up against the Democrats because they're just vicious, brutal. Uh, they have no morals. They could care less about the United States. And um, they're just going to win, right? And Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders will be the, the nominee. And both of them are going to retire early because they're just going to say they're sick and probably both of them are going to take michelle obama either one that wins i think it's going to be joe biden because you know he's deeper in the deep state than bernie sanders and bernie sanders talks a lot of stupid shit um that you know people really think that he's an idiot i mean in my opinion not only that bernie sanders has dual citizenship so anybody with dual citizenship shouldn't be uh, working in public office or have a public job that's paid by the taxpayer. If you choose to have dual citizenship and, and retain your loyalty to another country, then it's okay for you to work and live in the private sector in this country, but you shouldn't have the right to be in politics because you could be a spy. You could be corrupt. There's no guarantee. You don't want to, to be 100% American. You want to have a loyalty to another country. So somebody like uh, Bernie Sanders, if you vote for him, that's what you're voting for. You're voting for somebody who doesn't have 100% loyalty. Now, he's a liar that he says that you know he doesn't have dual citizenship with Israel. All the politicians in, in, on the left that are of the Jewish faith have dual citizenship with Israel. You know, um, Adam Schiff, uh, all of them. Everyone who's involved in this whole impeachment, they all have it. Even Dershowitz has dual citizenship with Israel. So, in my opinion, none of these people should be involved in politics. Anyone that is giving a, a, a loyalty to another country should not have any power 
any say over our politics or even run for the measliest local government in the country for the smallest town as mayor or even sit on any board you have to have you have to be a hundred percent american in order to be involved in any sort of politics and and i hope that donald trump sees that <laughs> and eliminates uh this whole do citizenship thing i believe that people should have dual citizenship all right but you cannot be a politician in any level of government so that's my prediction that uh bernie sanders or joe biden will be elected so that's my prediction that joe biden bernie sanders will be elected and uh they're gonna they're gonna take uh, Michelle Obama as pre as vice president, or whoever their vice president is when they get sick will not accept the uh, the the presidency, or and and they will just like the the Democrats will just appoint uh, Michelle Obama. I mean, there's many ways that Michelle can be president. You know what I mean? Because I mean, if you see what Barack Obama did to the United States, Michelle is is a hundred times worse. And Barack Obama. Michelle is a racist, bigoted, hateful woman. That's what she is. I mean, she is just a hateful person. Period. You know, she's not going to give any leeway to anybody she don't like, and that's Christians, white people, Chinese people, anybody if you're not like in a certain group that she likes, even white women, you're done. <laughs> you know what i mean unless you gotta like pay her big money and then she'll uh give you some kind of support or else you ain't getting nothing from her because barack obama if you look at his presidency you know who did he help he helped all the criminals he didn't help the good people the people paying taxes the people paying his salary you know what i mean the people supporting his family he was helping all the criminals the dregs of society instead of punishing them they punish the good people <laughs> because we because we are good and we keep our mouth shut and they're afraid of the bad guys because the bad guys threaten them. That's the that's the difference. See, we keep quiet, we're nice, nicey nicey. They turn around the bad guys and and tell them, oh, if you don't do this, we're gonna hurt you. We're gonna do it. So th that's the thing. But anyway, this is uh, Johnny NYC. You know, I hope this video was helpful. And stay tuned for the next video.